Oh god, that's all I need. If we played more golf than you're supposed to play when you're making a movie, you still gotta get up on his tippy toes to kind of look me in the eye. Mark, good to see you. Nice uh, to see you as well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Not your first mo uh, video game movie, I should say, but I don't know how much of a gamer you are. Have you had much chance to play Uncharted with your kids and kind of get your head all around it? No, no, and I'm not a big gamer. My kids were playing lots of video games during the pandemic to the point where I couldn't peel them away from the games and I I'm, I'm very similar in that way so I was smart enough to know that it was a slippery slope to start playing the game because I, I I've, I'm already busy enough and then to lose uh, my attention to to the game and uh, you know that wouldn't go over with my wife and my kids too well obviously in it with Tom Holland who is just loved the world over did you I mean he had lots of lovely things to say about you when I spoke to him earlier and not just because of the height uh, difference being very similar. He did see that as a big perk, but did you get to find out why it is <clears throat> you just love him so much? Uh, well, I think first and foremost, he's very talented. He's very talented, but he's very sweet. He's very kind. He's very thoughtful, very charming, um, but he's talented. You know, it's one thing to, to you know, embody those qualities. It's another thing to be able to, uh, you know, have those translate on screen. And that's not an easy thing to do. And he's smart in his choices where he's, he's had a lot of success really early on, but he's trying to balance that out with really kind of smart, challenging, dramatic roles that will allow people not only to see him as Spider-Man, um, but get to see the person behind the mask and behind the suit. And, uh, and I think he's gonna have a long career ahead of him. And he's, he's not as close in height as he thinks. You know, I don't know what he's got in his shoes or any of that, but he's still got to get up on his tippy toes to kind of look me in the eye. Okay, I'll, I'll let you no, have that one. No. Um, but I know you said before your biggest vice is golf, and he's a massive golfer as well. Did you guys get to hang out on the golf course? Oh my too? gosh, we played lots of golf. We played more golf than you're supposed to play when you're making a movie. Um, we would go out super early in the morning, sometimes before work or after work, and certainly on the weekends, and you know, we'd go and play and, and have quite a bit of fun. Oh, there's no better way to uh to bond then for you guys. It really isn't. I mean, my wife was always like, oh my God, golf is so boring. And now my sons have started to play more. I was like, oh God, that's all I need. But this is a great opportunity for us. And you learn very, very valuable life lessons in the game. It's Absolutely. the most difficult game to play, the most challenging, and a lot, in a lot of ways, the most rewarding. How do you feel though um, about handing over the reins? I mean, we see a lot of um, Tom Holland topless in this, which I know his fans are going to be very happy about. He's in great shape, but you're in great shape as well. Oh. Did you not fancy you know, being like Tom, you may be young, but I'm, I'm still, I've still got it. You keep in shape like no one. Else. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was perfectly fine letting him uh, take the reins there. Uh, you know, because he's also then got to be in the water. He's got to be jumping out of the plane and doing all that other stuff. So I did not mind him taking that on. I think most of my fitness, if it's not for a role, it's really just to kind of feel good and hopefully have longevity. Um, I'm, you know, really into kind of taking care of myself, eating right, and exercising but uh, don't mind him uh, taking the spotlight there. Amazing, thank you so much, Mark. Good luck with the film. Thank you, it was a pleasure talking to you.